my happy people i'm back with another video and today i am back with the final week week four of the spotlight collab challenge this week our theme is boho nails or bohemian nails and the lovely lady who chose this design is naomi from naomi's nails she takes a simplistic approach to her artwork her designs are super modern and very chic so definitely go and check her out. I'll leave her Instagram and her YouTube link down in the description box below. And yeah, y'all, let's get into this set. So these are the items I'm going to be using for this look. First, I'm going to be going in with a couple of polishes from Nail Addict. I have the White Addict as well as the Sea Swinging Sun. This is my absolute favorite nude polish. I'm also going to be going in with a regular polish um, from LA Colors. I got this from Dollar Tree. I do use that for my stamping. And so I got some new stamping plates in. Um, so I'm going to be using that. I also have my nail foil glue. I have a couple of foils here. I have a black and a white. I have this uh, beautiful glitter top coat from Born Pretty. And I also have my water slide decals. So that's going to be my challenge for this design. I've actually never used water slide decals before. I also have this um, gold metallic drawing gel from Born Pretty as well as my top coat and base coat from Beatles. So yeah y'all let's get into this tutorial. I am going to be going in with my full cover coffin tips for this set. Here is my base and top coat from Beatles. This was my all time favorite base and top coat when I first started doing nails you guys. Um, so it's an Odie but goodie. When using full cover tips I do like to go in with a layer of base coat. This is so that I don't have to buff the nail um, before applying my gel polish and this also allows for the gel polish to adhere to the full cover tip. Next I'm going to be going in with this beautiful nude from Nail Addict, Sea Swing and Sung as well as White Addict. And I'm trying to decide here how I want the design to go. I do end up adding white polish to the index ring and thumb. And then on the middle and pinky, I go in with the nude color. I'm going to apply that to all the nails. Okay, so all the nails have been painted. I went in with two coats of the White Attic and I went in with three coats of the Sea Swinging Sun. So these are the water slide decals I'm gonna be using for the set. Again, this is my first time using them. So I do have these practice decals that I wanna go in with first because I'm doing everything here on the spot. I wanna make sure it comes out good. Um, so I do have this little tray here. I'm gonna fill it up with some water. Next, I'm gonna cut out the images that I want to use. Um, on the actual nail I chose this rose here and I am going to go ahead and remove the film from the rose and I removed that protective film to avoid any issues with the transfer next I'm going to go ahead and take the image and submerge it into the water I am going to let it set in the water for about 30 seconds after 30 seconds I check to see if the image is separating from the background and it is and so I'm just giving you all a close-up look of what it's looking like here and after that, I do go in with my tweezers and gently pick the image up. After I get the image out of the water, I do go ahead and lay it on my paper towel. And that's just to absorb any excess water that might still be on the water slide decal. And after I let it set on there for about a second or so, um, I do go ahead and get my practice nail here. And I'm going to attempt to go ahead and put it on the nail. I did find that this this process was uh, fairly simple to do. Water slide decals actually reminded me of a sticker that just had more work to do. <laughs> but as you can see, it was really easy to apply to the nails. So I only needed to do one practice nail. Now I'm gonna go in and apply the actual decal to my full set here. So again, these are the decals I'm gonna be using. I do have my set ready to go. I'm just trying to figure out where and how I wanna lay everything on the nails. Once I get that figured out, I do cut out my next piece. I remove the protective film. I take uh, my little tray full of water and I submerge the image in there for about 30 seconds. Then I check to see if the image is separating from the backing and it is. So then I go in with my tweezers and I gently remove the decal and place it onto a paper towel. This one's giving me a bit of a struggle, but I was able to get it out. 
Um, so yeah, now you see me placing it on a paper towel. I let it sit there for a couple of seconds just so that the water can absorb from the back of it. Pick it up, place it down on the nail, and then I press down with my hand. Um, yeah, you guys, I really feel like these water slide decals kind of remind me of those old school tattoos that we used to get um, where you would uh, put it on your arm and then apply some water and then slide it off. This is exactly what the water slide decal reminds me of, but we're just doing it on nails. And so yeah, you see this is a perfect transfer here. Here. and then I'm going to go in with um, the next image and repeat the same process. So now I'm going to go in with the middle finger and I'm going to use my stamping plates. Um, I found this immature that I like that I'm going to use. So after I remove the film from the stamping plate, I go in with my black regular nail polish and um, I just apply a generous amount onto the um, image that I want to transfer. I do a quick swipe down like so and then I go in with my um, jelly stamper, pick up the image and it's a clean pickup. I also, after that, I go in with my lint roller and remove all of the images on the stamper that I don't want to transfer onto the nail. And after I do that, I'm trying to place the image on the nail while also staying in frame. And while doing so, I accidentally transfer part of the image that I wasn't trying to do onto the nail. So I had to do this part all over again. I was so sad because it was such a perfect transfer. But here I'm just scraping off the image here. Um, I later determined that acetone is a better way to remove that. Um, but yeah, I take another generous amount and I kind of just submerge the image in my regular nail polish. After I do that, I do a quick swipe down. I pick the image up with the jelly stamper. It's a clean pickup. I remove all of the excess off of the jelly stamper that I don't want to transfer. I do remove the jelly stamper so that I can see better and then I go ahead and place the image down on the nail. Um, once the image is placed on the nail, I look and see. It looks beautiful. That's how she transferred. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my water slide decal and apply it at the top of the middle finger. So I'm going to just let you all watch me do that. So at this point, I'm just looking over the set and I'm realizing I'm not really liking how it's looking. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next on the ring finger. So I do find this image on my stamping plate that I want to put this water slide decal into, but I'm still kind of iffy about it. So here you see me just going through trying to see what would look right on the nails. So I have different foils that I'm looking at, seeing how it might work out. Um, going back and forth between the black and the white and finally I decided to go ahead and put that uh, circular image on there with the water slide decal and y'all I had the toughest time picking this image up I mean I had to go in at least like I feel like it 10 times at least to try and get this image to pick up and it just was not working and I kept trying and kept trying until I finally got a clean pickup here this was the best that I could get so I was going with it now I'm just going to place it here on the nail and I'm trying to stay in focus I'm hoping what happened earlier doesn't happen again but um, yeah I am able to get it to transfer nicely onto the nail I did notice that it was slightly off center but you know what sometimes you got to pick your battle so I'm just gonna roll with this one next I'm going to go in with this circular image and um, apply that to the middle of the circle that I just applied with the stamping polish again you guys see me submerging in the water after about 30 seconds or so, I check to make sure it separates. It does. I go ahead and remove it with my tweezers, let it dry, and now I'm carefully placing it on the inside of that circle there. Once I like where it is, I go ahead and press down to release any of the excess water that's behind the decal. And yeah, I'm really liking how that turned out. Like, I thought that looked really pretty. This is what the set is looking like so far. To be honest with you guys, I'm a little bit lost at this point with what direction my set is going in. This is a complete freestyle, so I actually didn't know what design I was gonna do before I went in. And so I'm just really trying to figure out what's next. I do decide to go in on the pinky finger and do that glitter top coat from Born Pretty just to see what effect it might give. And so after I do that, 
I decided to go in with this image from my stamping plate and I do have a white in the nail art deco uh, regular polish um, and it picked up pretty good on this particular image and I was able to transfer it onto the nail and I was liking how it looked. At this point I'm just kind of looking and trying to see what I want to do next. I did find another image from this particular stamping plate that I wanted to use at the cuticle area and so that's what I ended up doing. Um, and that one it took me a couple of tries to get it to pick up. I don't think the white is as opaque um, or picks up as easily as the black um, nail polish does but I was eventually able to get it to pick up and get it transferred onto the nail. Okay y'all, so I do go in with another stamping plate. Um, at this point I'm kinda not feeling the design, but I'm trying to stick with it and stick it out. I did get some Born Pretty stamping polish in because that white wasn't working out. And to be honest with you guys, I was not liking how this finished set was looking, so I actually scrapped it all together. Here we are with a clean set of nails, and I decided to just go in with a French tip simple mani um, with the boho theme using stamping so so even though I spent about three hours on the original design I just didn't like the look and feel of it and so I had to go with something that I was gonna really enjoy for a look and it's okay to do that when it comes to nail art and I did decide to keep that footage in because it was my first time using water slide decal so I definitely wanted to um, show you all what I learned um, doing the water slide decals it was fairly easy to do so and it was a little bit messy with the water because I did spill the water a couple of times. Um, so if I had a choice between water slide decals and stickers, I'd probably just stick with stickers because they're quick and easy. But it was fun testing that method out. So as you all just saw, I went in with my base coat from Beatles. Um, and then I went in with um, the nude color Sea Swingin' Sun from Nail Addict as my nail bed color. And now I'm just applying um, this Born Pretty glitter top coat to all of the nails. Um, and after I finish applying the top coat, I am going to go in with the White Addict from Nail Addict. And that's going to be what I use for my French tip. Along with this liner brush from Young Nails. This is actually my second attempt at French tip nails. I did French tip nails on my channel for the first time a few weeks ago, so I'll insert a picture of how that looked. And it turned out really good, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to try this method out again. Um, I know this is a classic look, everybody does it, but um, I haven't played around too much with French, French tips. So typically when I do my French tips, I like to do like a semicircle on the nail. So I'll do half of the semicircle on one side, half on the other, other side, um, kind of bring the lines down on the side a little bit more. And then after I have that look and how I want it, I'll go in with the brush from the gel polish that I'm using and fill in the rest of the French tip. And my goal when I do French tip nails is to not have to do any cleanup. Um, I don't really want to have to do cleanup when I do French tip nails. I want to be able to master it by just doing it in one swift motion. I was able to do that on my first time around. This time around it wasn't so easy and I think because the nail wasn't actually on my hands I was um, you know using the nail off of the stand and so I think if I had had been able to do it on, on my actual hands it would have been a little bit easier but yeah I do go, ahead, go in and clean up the line a little bit on this particular nail but I think three out of the five nails I was able to do with no cleanup so I was pretty happy about that. As I finish up my French tips on the rest of the nails and the fact that I just scrapped a set that took me hours to do, it actually got me thinking about my journey with nails. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be interesting to give you all a little backstory on how I got into nails in the first place. So I've always been into doing my nails with just like regular polish and such. A few years ago, I did discover um, gel polish. I didn't start actually documenting my nail journey until about maybe seven or eight months ago. So I'm still fairly new to the nail world world in general. I've been on YouTube for about three years now and if you all go back on my channel you can see I, I used to post a lot of random content because to be quite frank with you I was lost and I really didn't know kind of where I wanted my channel to go what direction I was going to go in and when 2020 hit not only was there a global pandemic happening in the world but I also got pregnant with my first child and so I took an entire year off of YouTube and to focus on me my family 
Um, I also started a few businesses during that time as well. So I had a lot going on and wasn't sure what direction uh, my life was going to be going in to be quite frank with you and um, it kind of felt like things were just all so many different transitions and so many different things happening at once that I was very very stressed out um, just trying to figure out mommyhood and trying to be an entrepreneur trying to stay safe and healthy etc and I was watching glam twins that's youtubers I watch that are in the beauty world and um, they were talking about Beatles gel polishes. And I was like, okay, I've only been using these Sally gel polishes. They're not all that great. Um, so I was like, let me give that a try. And when I bought the Beatles kit, it, it rekindled my love for nails. And so I started doing a lot of gel manis. And so I started watching a lot of nail content and I just absolutely loved what I was seeing. And I got to the point where I'm just like, hold on, like I'm watching all these people do nails on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. Why don't I just do nails on my channel? Then I started to transition over to me actually doing nails on my channel. Like I said, I started documenting that journey about seven, eight months ago. So everything that I'm trying out on my channel right now is very new to me. Everything from poly gel to acrylic to dip powders, etc. All of this stuff, I'm actually learning it with you all here on the spot on my channel. And I noticed that while my life was like a big whirlwind spiraling out of control, that when I would sit down to do my nails, I felt a sense of peace. I felt less stress and I felt like it was very therapeutic. Thus, Nail Therapy Thursdays were born. So Nail Therapy Thursdays is where I actually film myself or record myself doing my nails. Um, quote unquote, I'm filming my therapy sessions and I share them with you all. And I do premiere my videos every Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And literally, it's just me sitting back, um, having fun, doing my nails as my form of therapy. And that's why I call it Nail Therapy Thursday. So thank you all for allowing me to have some form of escape, um, you know, some form to de-stress. Um, and for allowing me to share my therapy sessions with you all. And for those who come on Thursdays, y'all know that we have a blast and we have a good old time. So if y'all ever want to de-stress or just, you know, watch some therapeutic sessions or someone doing their nails, or if you just want to hang out with some awesome nail sisters that's in this awesome nail community, tune in every Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I guarantee you'll have a blast. It's really something I look forward to every week. And I really look forward to having that direct interaction with my happy family that I've formed here on YouTube. And so, yeah, I'm really impressed though at the progress that I've made um, in the world of nails in such a short amount of time and to be honest it's just been such a great experience overall I feel like the nail community is probably one of the most supportive communities out there on YouTube right now so I have to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers um, all the people who watch my videos everybody who comments on my videos um, I definitely appreciate all of the love and support and then I have to also give another special shout out to my nail sisters you all hold it down you all are very dear to me and I just want to say that I appreciate you all being there for me this month was a tough month for me um, not only did I have this challenge going on but I also was trying to run my two businesses take care of my daughter um, find a daycare for her and um, I also had family visiting in from out of town so a lot was going on this month but um, I was able to push through and finish the challenge and yeah a big shout out to my nail sisters for um, really picking me up and dusting me off when I felt like giving up and yeah I really appreciate that so, yeah I'm just really excited about where the world of nails um, is actually going to take me I feel like it's only the beginning and I'm just getting started so yeah y'all that's just a little bit of backstory on me my journey with nails where I've been and where I'm at now and so yeah y'all let's hop back into this tutorial I didn't went off on a whole little tangent getting all emotional and stuff so now you all see me going in with my Beatles top coat I did use a gold stamping polish and a white stamping polish from Born Pretty to do all the designs and, and whatever parts of the image didn't transfer onto the nail I just filled it in with my micro detailer brush and that white polish from Nail Addict so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying the top coat to all the nails and we're gonna get into the finished look y'all All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna address the elephant in the room right now. I know, 
I did not actually have an opportunity to wear this set. Y'all know I like to actually wear my sets and get a couple of days of wear out of them, but I'm currently hosting some friends in from out of town, and I did not have time to put these nails on my lovely hands, and so I'm gonna just show you all my finished look right here. I am gonna be honest with you guys, um, this isn't like my favorite set that I've done. Um, I do think it turned out cute though. You know, I did my little French tips, and I was able to put the like cute little boho trimming and go around the French tip which I really liked and then you know just giving different like boho vibes you know along the nail bed of the French tip so yeah I really do like how um, I really do like how it turned out but I'm just not like in love with this set and so this the thumbnail is probably my favorite one with the dream catcher so I I think I hit the theme so yeah you all saw my trials and tribulations with this set I did try to I did try to do something different with the water slide decals but to be honest with you I just wasn't feeling the vibe of how this set was turning out so I just completely scrapped it so um, who knows I might come back and revisit this set to see if I might be able to revive it and bring it back to life but yeah I just wasn't feeling it for this particular week and then this was also just some more practice that I kind of did off camera I didn't actually have a sketch for this week I didn't have a plan I really just kind of came in and free handed it and I'll be honest I think that the end result came out pretty nice so I can't complain this is a week for the final week of the spotlight collab challenge um and yeah this is this is what we got this is the final week you guys yeah y'all it's kind of a bittersweet moment you know i've been having fun you know challenging myself to be super creative over the last couple of weeks and so um this definitely isn't the end of this on my channel it's really only just the beginning um because like i said you all know uh my nail journey i've only been really doing nails for about um, seven eight months now so yeah I am just getting started with all of this and I'm super excited to see where this is going to take me um, so yeah y'all know I like to keep it real I like to keep it honest on my channel so my final thoughts on the collab um you know it was an interesting experience to say the least it kind of felt like a collab without the collab if you know what I mean um, and so would I do it again probably not but what I will say is that it was a great learning experience that was very enlightening and it really pushed me to grow as an artist which was you know phenomenal so I'm grateful for the opportunity to have participated in a challenge like this um, and I met some beautiful amazing and very talented ladies along the way and that I will also be forever grateful for and forever blessed about but I'm really happy I was able to push myself to grow as an artist like I said I've only been doing nails for about seven eight months and so I'm really just getting started with all of this and so yeah y'all I hope that you all enjoyed this series we have four weeks in the bucket okay and so I'm gonna just kind of give you all a recap on all of the weeks here this is week one so this was the Pac-Man set that I did for week one of the challenge. For week two, we had traditional tattoo theme nail art. So this was my traditional tattoo theme that I did. For week three, we had an Alice in Wonderland set. So this was my Alice in Wonderland uh, set that I did. I focused on the uh, Cheshire Cat. And then we have week four here with the boho design. So yeah, y'all, these are all four weeks of the challenge. Um, let me know which one is your favorite set. Like, I really had a lot of fun with all of them, to be honest with you. All of them had their trials and tribulations, and so it's hard for me to pick a favorite. But if I absolutely had to, it would probably be between week two and week, um, week two and week three. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, I had a great time being a part of this collab. Be sure to check out the other participants. I will leave all of their information linked down in the description box below, as well as details on how to enter the next Spotlight collab challenge if you're interested. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!